Hello, my name is Chris O'Leary, and this is Around the World. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the number one best travel credit card that you can get. Okay, so yes, it's a clickbait title, but the best travel credit card you can get, according to many websites, and my own personal opinion, is da -da -da -da, this one, the Chase Sapphire Preferred Credit Card. And what makes it so great is not the design, although it's nice. It's one of these metal in the middle cards with two sheets of plastic on each side. So the design's nice. What makes this the best travel credit card? So first of all, I must say there is, a, it's not free. There is a $95 annual fee for this card, but it's far more affordable than its uh, big brother card, the Chase Sapphire Reserved credit card. If you look here, it has a $550 annual fee. Um, and so it does come with more points and things like that, but that's a large fee for most people, I think. So let's go into the points. As you can see here, they're both Chase credit cards. Um, but what makes this the number one is right here. One of the very first things, this 60,000 bonus points that you get after you spend $4,000 on the card in the first three months. So, I mean, first of all, you have to be someone who's already gonna spend $4,000 naturally in three months to make it worth it because you don't want to go spending extra money on extra things you don't need unless you have a big purchase lined up that you're planning on buying and you can use this credit card for but don't spend extra money just to get these points that said these extra points will be worth 750 dollars towards travel when redeemed through the chase app and that means that your 95 dollars annual fee is covered for over seven years so some of the things that are pretty great, if we just go down the list, this is actually pretty great. This 5X points on travel purchase through the Chase app. Um, so if you're using, well, it doesn't have to be the app, you can use it online, but if you go to, if you log into your Chase account through the app or on you know, a web browser, you can access this whole marketplace basically where you buy your flights or your hotels through them and they'll give you 5X points on it. This is one that I do use a lot. The 2X points on all other travel purchases so if you're buying a flight you're buying a hotel you're buying a rental car um, you're buying a train ticket you're buying a taxi an uber a lift all of that counts so yeah so this is a great thing there's not a lot of credit cards that have this kind of value for travel purchases 2x or more and um, that's part of what makes it such a good travel credit card this is a new one this 3x points on online grocery purchases this is new that they've added i don't really use it the you know they they have all these exclude you know they don't count walmart target or wholesale clubs like you know sam's club or costco anyway so you know uh, i don't know how great this is it's new it's whatever 25 percent more on value on travel that's what i was just saying so instead of the sixty thousand points being worth six hundred dollars it's worth 750 if you redeem it towards a flight or a hotel or a travel related expense this is another huge one for me, the three points, the three X points on dining. So uh, I eat a lot of restaurants, um, especially when I'm traveling, mainly because I'm lazy and I don't like cooking. And so all of that adds up towards travel points. You know, I get to use all those extra three X points towards travel. And it's great because, you know, if I pay for a dinner for me and my girlfriend, it's like I'm treating her, but I'm getting three X points. And so, yeah, and this includes, like it says here, it includes delivery services and takeout um, dining. And um, one of the things, benefits I'll get to later is they have a partnership with DoorDash. So that's another perk that I'll get into more. They also have this three X points on select streaming services. I haven't gone through what all the streaming services are they include, but I just, every streaming service that I uh, have a subscription to, I just put on this card. We have basically all of them and I put them on this card just to get a little bit extra points back. And uh, this 10% anniversary points boost, I think this is new too, because I don't remember ever reading this before, but apparently I get a 10% anniversary points boost now every year they give you 10 percent on whatever points you had through the year which is awesome um and this is what i was talking about with the doordash doordash subscription complimentary dash pass 
um, which means that any order over $12 that you get from DoorDash, you will not pay the, you know, the extra fee, the $0 delivery fee, and then it'll be like the service fees are reduced. Um, there still is service fees because, you know, they're a company that wants to make money. Um, but I've used this way too much. So I've ordered a lot of DoorDash, and so I guess I've spent a lot more money than I should have, but at least it's not as bad because I use this credit card and saved three, uh, three X points or whatever, sorry, saved on the delivery fee, whatever it was. They also have this 5X points on Lyft rides. If you're if you're riding Lyft, so you can get, you know, 5X points back on your Lyft rides, um, which is pretty great. Uh, I don't use Lyft or Uber very often, but when I do, I choose Lyft for this reason and use this card. And uh, just so you know, when you're setting up um, your accounts with these things, I mean, you already have an account, but if you just change the paying options to this credit card within your DoorDash app or within your Lyft app, it'll then, uh, figure it out and give you the, the the benefits that you're supposed to be getting. Here's another fun one if you're a Pelotoner or want to be a Pelotoner. I'm not a Pelotonist, but uh, you can earn 5x points total on your Peloton bike and Peloton tread purchases. So if you've been itching to buy one, you can get some points back. It's also outside, you can get a bike and ride it outside. A uh, $95 annual fee that I mentioned earlier. It's, it's there, but like I said, the points add up um, very quickly. And if you just get that bonus points alone in the first three months, which you, I highly recommend, you're paid off on the card for seven years as far as the annual fee goes. But this is a nice thing right here. So you can do one to one point transfer at a lot of their partners. So they have airlines and hotels. Like the one is the, uh, I think it's Aeroplan for Canada Airlines. Canadian Airlines, Canada Airlines, Canada Air, whatever it is, um, and they're a Star Alliance member, and so you can transfer your points to them, and then you can use uh, their point redeeming services to then buy a flight through them, or, or through like you know a partnering airline with them through like the Star Alliance partnership. You might be like, well, Chris, if why would you transfer your points to them if you can just buy it through Chase? Um, and most of the time you probably won't want to, but if you are a member of certain programs, the points that you transfer over will actually be worth more. On average, they say like redeeming your points with Air Canada will give you like 1.5 times the amount of points that you actually have, uh, versus if you redeem them with the Chase app, you'll get 1.25 times the amount of, uh, you know, purchasing power that you would normally have. So it's not always beneficial, but it could potentially be a way of maximizing your points and getting a lot more money out of your spent money. But this is a huge one. Zero dollar foreign transaction fees. Don't get a travel credit card that does not have this. This is crucial because it might not seem like it when you're like, you know, buying a cup of coffee here or there and you're like, oh, an extra 30 cents or whatever. It adds up and it's usually an average of like 3%. You don't want to do that. You want to have a card like this that has zero dollar foreign transaction fees and stick with that you save yourself some money auto rental collision insurance um so basically what that is is it's insurance for your rental car obviously but when you go to the rental car company they're going to offer you their uh insurance and what you have to do is you have to say no rental car company i don't want your overpriced insurance and then you pay with this card um, and as long as you pay with this card and reject their insurance, you will still be covered. The one downside to this is it only covers your car and you. So if you're not a confident driver like me and you who do, you, you know, might be accident prone. And if that's the case, you should, maybe you should get some other kind of coverage, whether, I don't know what to tell you, some other coverage, but this one will only cover you. So if someone hits you and it's their fault, you're fine. If, you know, if you hit a pole by yourself, it'll cover it as long as you don't hurt the pole and have to pay for the pole um you'll be covered so that is really nice and i have used that the trip cancellation and trip interruption insurance this i have not had to use yet thankfully however it does seem like a really good deal so i looked into it more and basically what it is is if your flight or hotel or you know your trip is canceled for whatever reason whether it be uh weather conditions maybe the flight was just canceled because airlines do that now um, or maybe you got sick, uh, which is very possible nowadays with this pandemic world, uh, they will reimburse you any non-refundable expenses up to $10,000 per person. 
So my one downside to this car, the only thing negative I really have to say about it, is the build quality. So as I showed before, it's it's pretty sturdy. It has this metal in you know metal part inside and this plastic on either side. Um, it looks really slick. It feels nice. However, my old one and several that looked like this before it have experienced this kind of problem where the plastic peels away from the metal and uh, it might not seem like a big deal but it does tend to affect how the card works so last two months i was out of the country i was in turkey and europe and other places and my card stopped working as far as the tap function goes so the chip still worked swiper i don't know i never used it the chip still worked though so i could still use the card uh, but the tap function stopped working and when you're using an american card in europe the tap function is the way to go because it's quicker it, it processes faster they don't usually ask you to sign the thing or anything it's just you know tap and go um but when you use the chip it takes a really long time to process um you're sitting there waiting on these little machines to figure it out and then you do have to sign everything and it just it, it slows everything down and you don't want to do that you want to be able to be quick and efficient and not you know the annoying tourist and so I was disappointed, like that happened to me and this wasn't working. And I actually started to use my Bank of America card sometimes and did not have a zero dollar transaction fee just because it was more convenient because the tap function was working and I didn't have to like slow everybody down. That said, I'm looking into a solution to this. Bank of America has a travel rewards card of their own and it's a zero dollar annual fee, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't have as many perks as this card, uh, not nearly as many, but it does have zero dollar transaction fees and the card costs zero dollars annually. Uh, it's just, it's good to have a backup in case, you know, a card gets stolen or lost or compromised or whatever. So yeah, that's, that's what my review of this fantastical little beauty, the Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, only if there's a big caveat to all of this, you do not get this credit card or any credit card if you're someone who does not pay off your credit card every month otherwise it's not worth any of the benefits i described because you will be losing money constantly so pay off your credit card every month and then this is totally worth it i hope you liked the video if you did you can drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more you know, future travel related content. Uh, once again, I'm Chris O'Leary and this is Around the World. Thanks for watching.